Card Kingdom has all your Dominaria United needs, so head on over to their website right now, cardkingdom.com, and place those orders. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome back to Single Scoop. This week, we're playing Abzan. That's right. This is a green, black, white mid-range deck that is just using a lot of, like, you know, how, like, the... Classic Jundi vibe is a bunch of removal, but we've got everyone's favorite, favorite rhinoceros. Uh, we're playing some siege rhinos, but we got some tenacious underdogs to get down on the ground early. Uh, also to like kind of just keep coming back and hopefully accruing us value over time. Uh, we've got Kalidus, who of course, as you know, I love Kalidus more than ever. I don't think I need to explain anything. If you've seen a video of mine and if I could play Kalidus, I will play it. Uh, but since we're in Abzan, we do have access to cards like Mythos of Nethroi, uh, Assassin's Trophy, and just some of the best removal that you could ask for. So hopefully that's good enough to get there and let's see how we do on the ladder. Let's see. Uh, on the draw, I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to risk it. Oh, wait. They must have a good turn too, right? So let's take four. Uh, e these are kind of good turn twos, I guess. Yeah, these these are good turn twos. So, I mean, Stone Coil, I at least get to like block with like some of my other creatures. Uh, the Patrick Automaton, kind of annoying though, because it grows pretty fast, hard to deal with. Uh, I don't I don't mind them getting to like the mana to play the other stuff. So none of that other stuff matters to me. I do want a land. Like, if I draw a land, that'd be nice. That'd be... I'd appreciate it. But you never know. Can't be too picky. Deck, please. One time. For the people at home. A land. Okay, well... I didn't specify. That's on me. I'm just happy it's a land. I mean, if they want to add a counter to Blast Zone, they sure as heck can. Perfect. Uh... We're gonna hope that they try to play... Oh. That's pretty good. I probably should have played Tireless Tracker than the land. I think there's a part of me that wants to just let them have the Hedron Archive because I can probably make them sack everything, right? Assuming they don't Karn me off this turn. Or, I mean, Ugin me. That's three, five, seven mana. Okay. I need to draw an untapped fifth land here. Untapped fifth land is ideal, I'll admit. Probably exactly what I want to blow up with Mythos. Come on, untap fifth land. That'd be amazing. Please. Oh. Yeah, we'll just go like this. Sure. I still get to trample over a little bit. I think I need to blow this up or else I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm going to just blow. I got to blow up the, the Forsaken Monument. Oh, no. Um... Sick, I guess. I don't know what they're gonna get, but like, it can't be good for us. Sure. That's pretty good, okay. Like to draw like a Thought Seize or something, that'd be pretty great for us. Or right now, land, that'd be amazing. Sick. Not really, because I did want a little bit more than just the land, but I guess, can I beat a Planar Bridge? I guess that it'll take them a little bit of time. They need to find an Ugin or they die. They can't play Planar Bridge. They can, but they'll die. Well, they found an Ugin. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay. They had the Ugin ready. Never didn't have it. Just better. They actually perfectly played that Ugin out. Well, can't do much, so... Yup. Great. Uh, I need to draw another Rhino or some way to burn them out. Or a way to answer the bridge. One or the other. Or I, 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 like, as long as I don't draw another land. Please, one more Rhino. One Rhino. One Rhino. One Rhino. Or, actually, that's doable. Sure. A Rhino? A Mythos. That's pretty good, actually. Sure. That seems good. Wait, why did I do that when I... Oh, yeah, no, no, hold on. This makes sense, because I actually need the mana to get rid of the bridge. So I was like, oh, wait, why wouldn't I just blow up Ugin and hit them? Because then they would just get a new Ugin, and then I would die. So that's not good. I need them to not have it. Just just miss for a little bit. That's all I'm asking for. I mean, they clearly have something that's good. Good enough to where they don't want to, like, immediately pass the turn. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
If I draw a Fatal Push, I can't play Soren, so I may as well just crack the land. Can I draw a Fatal Push? I'm at 12. No matter what, they're going to get that land. Or uh, they're going to be able to animate a land here. They could double animate. I could double block. That's fine. They have no basics. That feels kind of good. Just don't have another Ugin. Oh, no. Wait, why would they add a white? What is going on here? Are they just slowly activating? And then approach. Wow. That's a backbreaker. Maybe they swing and I don't block. Fight for me now. I need them to not have an Ugin or a way to win, but I guess we're looking to just run past them. I had to play the second Rhino because if Stone Coil just starts attacking, we would have been dead. We needed the life gain. I need a Fatal Push. What is what is this slow tap? Uh, you know what? I, it's probably because they don't want to lose to Auto Tapper. Uh, I guess that's good. They shuffle their library. Deck, I need something good here. Oh, no. They can blow up three drops. That's fine. All right, so this is essentially the last turn I'll have. I'm glad that I could draw every land in my deck. That's good. Let me think here. So I minus for one. What does that do? That's only one damage in the air. That should be more than lethal. Minus for one. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Let's see if I can draw a fatal push. I have a lot of removal. Or not. They're exactly at what they need to be to live. Oh, no, but they die because my thing dies. Right, 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 right. I'll keep this. This seems actually pretty solid. I dig it. Now let's just hope uh, we don't get Thought Seized into Oblivion. All right. Looks like we'll be doing the Thought Seizing. However, I do worry that we may not hit another land. We have a lot of removal. I think I'm okay. All right, we get rid of the angel. Assuming that I don't draw another angel for a little while. Okay, I drew a land. Like an infernal grasp to the other side. Or whatever the righteous Valkyrie is. All right. At least it's not Coco yet. But we are stuck on lands. All right, one land, please. One land, please. All right, we got rid of the board. That feels pretty good. Now I just have to draw an untapped fifth land, play Liza. Sure, Bishop. Well, it's a land at least, so I do know I get to play Liza. Whether or not they'll have the wildest board remains to be seen. So, Giada. Giada's good, but I don't know if Giada's, like, good enough to, like, kill yet, so I guess I pass. If they draw a Coco, they're in a very good spot. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to start working at their health total. Please draw a land. Please draw a land. Thank you. Fine. All right. I drew another land. That feels kind of bad. Okay. Let me see. What do I want to get rid of? God, I need to draw something that isn't just a land every time. Come on. I need them to just keep hitting lands for a little bit. I'm at two. 
That's hilarious. If I go up to six, I would take four. I probably should have actually animated the land and swung. Yup. Yeah. That's really good. Dude, this is so awkward. Okay. Perfect. So that'll return my rhino. Oh, crap. Right. Hold on. That won't work the way I want it to. Fudge, dude. This infernal grasp actually came back and bit me in the butt. I'm dead. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna blow myself up here. Interesting. I think they just messed up. Okay, this is good. I, okay, this actually pulls us right back into it now. Let's see, they animate the land. That's three, five, seven, eight. We would be at, we go to six, we gain three, we're at nine. Yeah, I think this is the way it's gotta go. We got a rhino again. Put him down to 10, so if they swing out, they die. Perfect. We're drawing like about an equal amount of lands here. I think they die here. All right, cool. Yeah, they're dead. Making sure I don't go to one randomly. And, or I'm not at one randomly and then I die. And that should be enough. Oh my god, we got so lucky. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep this. This seems pretty good. Okay, that's a mausoleum wanderer. I think, yeah, we have nothing to do, so let's thought seize on two. No, no need to shock. They might play a lord effect or something. Or maybe they don't. I guess I'll just go ahead and thought seize. Cool. If I get them to, like, tap out, that'd be great. It's unlikely that they will. May I resolve this? I guess not. Okay. Supreme Phantom? Oh my lord. Dude, their hand is stacked right now. That was perfect. Yeah, I don't know how we beat them. Let's make them use their mana. I guess they don't have to use any mana because they'll just sack the ma Mausoleum Wanderer. Five, seven... That card would have gotten way too beefy way too early, so I would have had it so much trouble. If they animate the land that's five, seven, eight, I'm down to two if I block, which I will, 100. Unless I draw an untapped land here, which would be huge. Please untap land. Oh. Well, I gotta play this, so. That blocks and gains me three. No way, did they draw a bounce spell? Mausoleum Wanderer, okay. Let's go ahead and attack, gain three life. Because it has vigilance, so that's good. Oh my god, let me be safe from the misery that is mono blue. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> I have no idea what the opponent's playing. So they have a Kahira, they could be blue-white, they could be uh, elementals, which is popular. All right, so it looks like it's just blue-white. Well, when I say just blue-white, we're going to probably lose to blue-white, but whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna try to push this. It'll make me discard two cards. But like right now I have nothing. So my hand's like kind of bad. Their hand is loaded with counter spells, right? Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna get spell pierce though, so I'm gonna just hold up mana. I'll play my four drops next turn. Or not spell pierce, uh censored. I need to try to find a thought seize. I could play a four drop. Oh cool, that's perfect. Perfect. Lose one. They saved me a life. Play Soren. Make a body. Do they have spell pierce as well? Oh no. Well, at least we get them to use their cards, right? That's the good thing. Well, let's get them to use those cards. Juice some of their cards. 
And that's good enough. I'll take it. This looks like a really good hand here. We have early interaction. We do whatever we... Yeah, this is this is a banger of a keep. This seems amazing. All right, let's lead off with the hive here just in case I need a fatal push there to drop. If it's the 1-4 uh, bishop. Bishop's like real rough on us, so... Or Giada. All right, let, we got the swamp so we can Woodland Cemetery next turn. We do need a white source pretty soon here, but... Giada's got to die. That's like the perfect draw. It was the white source we needed. Now we get to play the planes, play Siege Rhino to deplete them of their health. So this way we give ourselves a little bit of a, a buffer before they can start making 4-4s. Four I'm going to go ahead and move the planes on over to the right. And the castle on the far left so I don't accidentally misclick. Okay, so they pitched a land and a two, a Faceless Haven and a Besaju. So they can't Coco me. That's the nice thing. Not yet, at least. But soon. Alright, I like this. This is actually perfect for us. Now they can Coco. The last card they kept was definitely Coco. No doubt about it. Please miss. Their hand- that must be a stacked collected company. For sure that's stacked. That's terrible. We drew the ass, actually. Like, that's pure ass. I don't even know how that's possible, to be honest with you. <laughs> I do not know how that's possible. I guess we lose. There's all of our lands. Found that, at least. I'll bluff it, so this way maybe they don't go for it. You got it. There was like a pointless bluff, but I had to do something, right? Because I'm not doing anything anyway, so they're going to get two angels here. And they're going to continue to get two angels. God. Dude, where's all my removal? Where is it? No way. Oh, God, that's so late. I mean, we're still going to probably eat it here. These things have vigilance. Yeah, I'm super dead. I can play Liza. Puts me at four. It doesn't matter. They're going to pump anyways. Yeah, I'm dead. This is a pointless game. Well, we drew a lot of removal, which we severely lacked in our last matchup against Angels. They're Gigantha, so they're probably a red deck. I think I like this. I just need to draw some lands. I was pretty good at it last game. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. It's all or nothing with me. You either get all the lands or none of them. We're going to find out today. Yup. Yup. All right. That's like a land, as in it requires lands to use them. I love that. Sick, an oven. Sick, a follow-up oven. Opponent's got all the household, like, appliances. I love that for them. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't I don't think I have uh, the willingness to actually try to fatal push that. Or or uh, use my uh, Besaju. There it is, Misery Incarnate. Can I hit that creature? I think I can. I think I'd rather do this now. All right, cool. We'll take some damage. I mean, I'm hoping that I can draw enough. Like, I need two white sources here. A third oven. All the household appliances. Everyone's favorite cat. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. They're going to claim my firstborn, most likely. Then they can sack it five times over. I don't think I want to turn their, their claims on, but I also... Yeah, you know what? We'll try this. They have so much food. Like, so they can drain me three... Here comes the fun. All right. Keep going. Oh, it's so miserable. All right. Yeah. Keep going. You got one more for us? Great. So I need a second white source off the top right now. I may as well cast this. I don't want to take one. I'm going to keep getting ping, uh, pinged down by them. 
Sweet, I guess. Sure. They sack, they bring it back. That's like I lose a life anyways. But I need them to kind of use up their as much food as I can. Oh, dude. This is so bad for us. Oh my god. I'm gonna remake the punishment. Carnage. Oh boy. I'm not gonna target the cat. The cat just be brought back with the food tokens, so that's not good. I needed a land. Deck failed me. Just one land away from Eliza. That would have been so good for us. They would not have been able to come back, I don't think, because whatever they did, it didn't matter. They exiled the cat. That's all. That's all it would do. Oh, another two lander. Sure, I'll keep it. Whatever. Oh, no, it's well, actually, wait, this is not the worst. If I actually get to the mana to play trespasser, that'll just trigger on attacks. That's annoying. Yep, that's three damage. Sure. I will gladly trade here. Yeah. I'll swing in. Alright, so next turn, as long as they don't, like, go hard on, like, uh, like, dunking my face into the ground here, they'll, they'll burn me four, right? But then I've got go blank. Which should be enough to get rid of the 4-drop. I guess I just have to hope that I can kill them fast enough here. I think I have to blow this up next turn though. If there is a next turn for me. Or I take 3. All right, cool. We got there. <laughs> we got our teeth kicked in by angels. They kicked our teeth in. But you know, that's just the nature of the deck. It's so good with Collected Company and all that. Uh, but we also had some close games that were really fun. Uh, and you know, we of course missed out against the ja uh, the Jun Sack, or I mean, just Rakdos Sack deck. Uh, by missing out one mana, we could have had Eliza. But regardless, I think this deck was pretty fun. Uh, it's a little grindy, but... I, I don't know how it plays against uh, Rakdos, which I imagine it can't be great because Rakdos is just so efficient. But it was fun to have Rhinos back on the board, hitting people with some good old Helixes. We have a few Misers in the deck, you know, the Crim Special, so you know you got to have your random Singletons. Uh, play, playing around all those uh, Unmoored Egos and Necromentias, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, deck was a blast. Needs, I feel like it needs either a more mass removal or more removal. Because for some odd reason, I drew a lot of lands and never any removal. That could just be luck. Who knows? Either way, it was a good time having our Crash of Rhinos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Peace.